So in this video, let's talk about the devil. Now, if you don't know, you should already know the devil's intention is to do everything backwards and the wrong way. And to mix good things and bad things together <clears throat> to make a person seems good and you know there's a scripture that says uh, woe to those who call good evil and evil good that's the same thing people <clears throat> combining two together to uh, make it seem okay but we gonna get right into it but one thing I want to say is uh, like for example you might see like your favorite your favorite actress just say uh I don't know. Let's say Kanye. You know he get back to I guess he promote videos, he get back to the community <clears throat> making his shoes, you know. And like behind closed doors, he is worshiping the ball for me. You know, he is hanging around people that sacrifice and do all these type of rich craft. But people that don't hang around him, look at him, oh, he's doing good for the community. You know, he's giving shoes and clothes and stuff like that. And people get a perception of him being a good guy. <clears throat> Same thing that this is what the devil do also. Um... Uh, and now they get him a leeway to be able to do more bad stuff or say more bad stuff in the music because y'all got this, uh, most people got this image in their head. Oh, he came back to the community so he could, so he get it, he could get away with, you no, know, saying the same type of things in his music. And stuff like that. But. Let's talk about influence. <clears throat> What's influence guys to be gangsters? Or want to be a, a rappers? Or to copy? Because they see in the image that they feel like, feel like that's going to get them where they need to be. They don't want, they can't be themselves. Because the devil make it where um, you have to be like other people to make it. And that's why you always have like many of uh, relationships, you know, people that like to listen to rap, any race. You know, had this disrespectful, disrespectful appearance against women, and mindset towards women, and disrespectful. <clears throat> and women, and men also. But let's talk about women. Women are getting desperate for a man because, of course, nobody likes to be lonely. So you go out, whatever you, whatever you go and try to look for somebody, and all you see is the same type of image. Same typical guy, same typical uh, speech. Well, I mean speech, I mean like talking. Same typical guy that like to listen to music. And if he ain't that typical, he really probably to you may not have that much swag. If he listen to rock, he may dress like a rock type of guy. Depending on what you like. And same typical guy. Yeah, you never find really find somebody that's like truly different, that's worth your loving and time. So you don't find nobody. So you 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 set set yourself lower and be with somebody that uh, you choose to get all your love and affection to. We have kids by knowing that you know you're not supposed to because they ain't right, but you feel like you have to because you don't have no other choice. 
I'm telling you, that good person comes when you least expect it. It comes when you're going through a heartbreak. You're going through hard times. You're going through depression. And it's the test to see if you're smart enough, wise enough, going to take that person into your life. That's when they come. They don't come when you're looking for it. They don't come when you're happy and you're having fun. They don't come like that. Things don't come like that. And that's where most people fall at. They have marrying people, whether you're Chinese, Asian, it don't matter. Have people that, that's not good for you. Relationship only lasts a couple of years. Don't even get married. Stuff like that. No goals. No, basically no rules and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. And people pass it up all the time. I see people pass it all the time. Even, you know, even myself, people was passing me up. And I was showing you how good of a person I was, how I could benefit in your life. People just kept passing it up. Because they were going through a type of emotion. Everybody I talked to was going through a type of emotion of heartbreak, depressed, stressed out of some sort. And I had a good person come up, man, right there. And I, and I didn't even know it. So, yeah. Let's talk about when I was younger. You know, I heard about the devil, stuff like that. I always saw, like, why cartoons always have fighting and killing each other and stuff like that. But I didn't know why. I'm like, well, that's just a cartoon. That's the way of living. That's the devil put you in a trap mind with people that came from a hard background. Like myself, like, in the hood, or never had much money. Went to bad schools, always fighting a lot. People bringing guns, stuff like that. I grew up like that. And, um... You know, he blinds your mind to these things. I never knew about the devil. The church, I, the church, I was going there with, and never talked about God. <clears throat> I mean, you know, not in the, uh, not God. Uh, never talked about the devil because it talked. The thing they talk about the devil, everybody gonna start running away, in which. People do start running away. You start talking about hell and stuff like that. But nowadays, it's a little bit more different. You know, people start to, oh, I'm going to hell. And people start to accept it more instead of running away from it more. Back then, they never talk about the devil. I remember one time I was in church. I was looking through the Bible, and I saw somehow how the devil deceived people. And I went back to that same chapter. I looked all around the book. Couldn't find the devil name anymore. And like his name just was erased out the Bible. Like I couldn't find his name. Cause so I really wanted to read about it. Like know about you know his moves and what he did. <clears throat> I was real young. Maybe like 14, 13. And it just vanished. And I couldn't go back to it. But church never talked about that. But they so always talk about uh, God. You know, you hear all these good things, and we're like, okay, what the enemy is like. How he messing up the youth and putting all the blame on God. How he making people kill each other and stuff like that and put on the blame on God. How he giving people sicknesses, diseases, and blaming it on God. I said, the devil, the devil do stuff backwards. He make God look bad, make him look good. In whole life, I had been around people and myself thinking that type of way. So, like, a couple years ago when I started realizing and seeing, like, oh, man, now I see the light. Yeah. But, yeah, he just disappeared and stuff like that. So, as I got older, you know, I was going through so much hard time, so much emotional, so much around people that... Uh, was like, uh, oh, you still a virgin and stuff like that. You know, they talk about you and stuff like that. And been around a whole bunch of just bad, negative people. Because I used to play basketball, so they used to come over. I used to go over there and stuff like that. And it's like the reason why I went through all that, you know, because I'm a better person now. You know, I think they're like, man, if I went through that, I wouldn't be here now. So I'm thankful I'm here now because I could have been somewhere else or dead. 
But then it's like, when I think about that, it's like, man, I just want to erase it all. Like, it's just like, man, like all those summer days, you know, not having school clothes and shoes, you know, the stuff that you wanted. You know, the reason why I didn't fit in the high school, like, now you look at me now, you be like, I'm on top of all of them now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, times has changed, because it's like, once you got a high school, that popularity, dead, man, that, oh, he a famous basketball player, he get all the girls, him, it was that, him, him, him and her had a relationship, you know, all that stuff is dead now, and, I, and I'm happy, and I'm glad I'm out of it, because now that stuff don't even matter once you out of high school, there's nobody to, to, like, except for on, like, YouTube or the internet, but there's nobody to, like, tease you, fight you, bully on you, try to take your girl, you know, talk about you, all the other type. You know, that's more like, you know, if you're around on top of people, like, in a club or something like that, it's might be in holes or something, but that's a totally different thing. But, yeah, I'm like, man, if somebody would have sat down with me and, and taught me the Bible the right way, it's like, man, my life would have been a whole different. But it's like, at the same time, it couldn't have been because it was like four, four or five of us in a in small house. It's like it's so many different personalities and emotions, people bleeding on each other, talking about each other. It, it just couldn't, it just, it just, it wouldn't have worked out. I would have had to be the only child. I knew something was meant for me because I couldn't be like everybody else. I couldn't settle for less. I couldn't settle being a follower. You know what I'm saying? I listen to music. I listen to the music a totally different way. I changed the way. If it's a bad song, I changed the lyrics to the song in a godly way. And it's hard to do that. You have to be on another type of talent level to be able to do that. But yeah, it was a a lot of different times the devil almost destroyed me. And it's like, I can't believe I'm still living. Even to this day, man, I just can't believe I'm still living. It was times, man, it felt like somebody threw a tree on top of my head. It's like, bow. I'm telling you. And, uh... Yeah, you know, I started learning about the devil moves and how he works. You know, the voices in your head that's not not godly. You know, the devil try to get you to do some of these demons and stuff. And turn, turning guys gay, turning girls gay. Switching their gender from birth. All of us, they do everything backwards. Yeah. Just gotta stay in your word, man. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope I answered some of y'all guys' questions. You know, if I did, you can leave in a comment, comment, comment below. I may have, um, May have time to uh, answer back and do a video. Would y'all prefer me to talk about? Attending, you see me next video.